Phone numbers are there. Okay, in the last class we are solving problems. Okay, uh, in the last problem we have drawn one graph also. Okay, if you take the axis uh, like this 75, you can start from 75, 80, 85. Okay, so then you will get the plot of t versus x and t versus y. You can try, I already uh, told you in the last class. Okay, you can try, you can uh, find this binodal curve. Okay, today we will see. We have fluid equilibria and constant uh, pressure equilibria, constant temperature equilibria. We have solved one problem, uh, constant pressure equilibria, that is TXY diagram. Um, then today we will see what is ideal solutions. So what is ideal solution? Ideal solution is nothing but uh, which obeys Raoult's law. Okay, ideal solution always obeys Raoult's law. Okay, then how to obtain the Raoult's law when we solve the Raoult's law equation? What we can obtain for the relative volatility? So relative volatility is the basic uh, difference in relative volatility is the basic criteria uh, in order to separate distillation. So relative volatility is an important factor in distillation. So uh, alpha A B, which is relative volatility of A with respect to B. So what is this quantity for the Okay, then what is relative volatility for the ideal solutions? So ideal solution is nothing but which obeys the Raoult's law. So what is Raoult's law saying? Raoult's law is saying partial pressure. It is uh, partial pressure is given as vapor pressure into more fraction of more volatile component in the liquid phase. Whereas for the Raoult's law for the vapor phase is partial pressure is equal to more fraction into uh, more fraction of vapor phase, more volatile component in vapor phase into total pressure. So we will see what is ideal solution now. So ideal solution. Okay, then ideal solution is which obeys Raoult's law. So, what is Raoult's law for the liquid phase? For liquid, and other one is for vapor. So you have to remember all these formulas. So Raoult's law for the liquid phase is given as partial pressure is equal to vapor pressure of A into mole fraction of component A. Similarly, since our component is the binary component system, partial pressure of B is equal to PBV into XP. So for the vapor phase, Raoult's law for the vapor phase is partial pressure is equal to total pressure, uh, total pressure into mole fraction of the mole volatile component Ya. Then partial pressure of B is equal to total pressure into mole fraction of mole volatile component in the liquid phase. So all these laws need to be obeyed by the uh, components which are present in the ideal solution. 
if that particular solution is call, uh, so as to call the ideal solution so it has to obey all these four formulas then only it uh, can be called as a um, ideal solution so now what is relative volatility so relative volatility for the ideal solution so for the ideal solution we already know the formula alpha a b is nothing but alpha a divided by alpha b so the definition of alpha what is the definition of alpha alpha is nothing but partial pressure divided by volatility so for the component a it is partial pressure of a divided by the mole fraction of a then for the component b it is partial pressure of b divided by component uh, mole fraction of component b so we know what is the uh, partial pressure in terms of vapor phase since it is already defined for the uh, liquid phase compositions are already given so we have to obtain the um, vapor phase composition so from raoult's law of uh, for the vapor so this formula we have to substitute here so partial pressure is equal sir. to sir sir yes yes i think there is some network problem so now we can, now we are seeing sir before we can't see your notepad okay yeah i am using my mobile data still it is not coming college work is also very so you have to bear we can't do anything okay now is it is okay now it is moving sir, just, is moving just now we are seeing sir now cursor is moving my cursor no sir now why i have written is it okay no sir Okay, is it okay now? Just see. P T Y A have written us sir. P T Y A by X A. By divided by it's not appearing sir. Just P T Y A. Okay. It's very nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, can you see P T by Y A divided by X A? Yes, uh, now, just confirm me P T into X B divided by X B. Is it okay now? Yes, no, sir. No, sir. Okay. Still, it is not coming using Layla. Wi Fi is also not coming. My tethering is also not coming. What to do? Gigahertz it is there now. Sorry, the network is little less, sir. What? Sorry, Ravi. Your network is little less, sir. Ah no. yes, little, little, little. My network is little. Now it is connected to Layla Wi-Fi. 
Reshoring is good only, sir. When you write, it gets stuck in, stuck in, sir, for some time. Uh, tethering is okay, yeah. Hello, I said. Sir. Yeah, yeah. You were saying something. Screen sharing banana also, sir. Mall and me, one note will ask up to up to punch some light stuck out, man, there, sir. Okay. Mall screen sharing options, but next 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 options, na screen na Mars na up to banana also, sir. Okay, light is slow, and that is good, sir. Only writing, there, punch some problem out, man. It's going to get slow out. Okay, okay. Okay, all right. Then continue just starting, okay, lagay. ओके देन इपुर कंपेस्ट ना मेरे को पीटी बाय वाईए डिवाइडेड बाय एक्सए सर पीटी बाय एक्सबी डिवाइडेड बाय एक्सबी ओके एस सर या या सर ओके दिस इज वाईबी ओके देन इफ यू सी हियर सो वी आर जस्ट सब्सटिट्यूटिंग इन दिस फॉर्मूला सो दिस पीबी इज देयर दिस पीबी वी आर सब्सटिट्यूटिंग दिस वन and for this pa we are substituting this pa the definition of uh, raoul's law for the vapor phase then here uh, if you see pt and pt we can cancel out so the left out will be ya so that we can send this xb to the uh, numerator topmost numerator ya by xb divided by xa yb so we already know this formula from the material balance So sum of the mole fractions is equal to one. So sum of the mole fractions. Left somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if you see this one, Raoul's law for the vapor phase is P A is equal to P T into Y A. Similarly, for the Raoul's law for the liquid phase is equal to uh, partial uh, vapor pressure into mole fraction of component A. So this this is also a partial pressure. This is also a partial pressure. Let us equate these two equations. So equate these two equations, we will get P T into Y A is equal to P A B into X A. So now we can write what is Y A. Y A is equal to vapor pressure of A divided by total pressure into mole fraction of A. So similarly for the component B, we can also write this P B is equal to pt okay whatever the formulas which are there in the in this tables only we are using okay pt into ya and partial pressure of b in the liquid phase is pb vapor pressure into xa so let us equate this to both both equations and what will happen p2 into yb okay this is b this is b so pt into yb is equal to ppb into xb now we can say what is yb so here now yb is nothing but vapor pressure divided by total pressure into xb so this is the uh, this is the formula for mole fraction of less volatile component or a non volatile component in a vapor phase and this is the formula for mole fraction of more volatile component in the vapor phase so now this ya and yb we have to substitute in the alpha ab definition so now these two formulas we have to substitute here so if you see this one so here ya is there ya is equal to pab by pt into xa and here already left out is xb so i'm writing it in a bracket so xb exa is already left and yb definition according to this formula is this one pb v by pt into xb so now we have to solve this one so all the terms will be cancelled out see here exa is there this xa will be cancelled out here xp is there this xb will be cancelled out and pt here is there and pt here is also cancelled out so the left out terms are only pav by pbb so vapor pressure um, of more volatile component divided by vapor pressure of a non volatile component is nothing but alpha ab this is only applicable for the ideal solution 
meaning of the ideal solution is which obeys the the ideal solution is nothing but which obeys the rounds uh, um, rounds law so rounds law is given for the bo uh, both vapor phase and liquid phase the uh, solution which obeys both all these equations all the four equations is called a rounds law uh, is called a ideal solution then rounds law is nothing but for the liquid phase it is partial pressure is equal to vapor pressure into mole fraction similarly for the rounds law for the vapor phase is partial pressure into is equal to total pressure into mole fraction of yd then we have to apply in our definition of relative volatility alpha ab alpha ab is given as alpha a divided by alpha b so which is alpha a according to our definition is partial pressure by mole fraction since this is alpha a it is for uh, uh, relative volatility of a component a so we have to just substitute alpha a so here we can write alpha i we can write for any component we can write so i is a here then here i is b so pb by xd so we already know what is partial pressure for the uh, in terms of vapor phase so pa is nothing but pt into ya so total pressure into mole fraction divided by this xa is already there and pt into yb this xp is already there so here pt pt will be cancelled out and the left out terms are so we can send this xb which is extreme denominator to the extreme numerator we can send it so ya into xb divided by xa into yb then we are just uh, defining what is ya and what is what is yb we are just substituting so from the rounds law we are having partial pressure is equal to total pressure into mole fraction in the vapor phase Uh, similarly for the liquid phase it is partial pressure is equal to vapor pressure into mole fraction so these two are same so r h lhs of the equation 1 and 2 clouds law for the vapor phase and mole fraction uh, vapor phase and liquid phase are both same so that we can equate these equations so pt into ya is equal to pab into xa so we can just uh, reshuffle these items ya is equal to pab divided by pt into xa so this we have to substitute here so uh, similarly for the component b so partial pressure is equal to total pressure into mole fraction and partial pressure is equal to vapor pressure into mole fraction so the, since the the lhs side of these two equations are equal so we have to equate this two then we can obtain the definition of yb so yb is equal to uh, vapor pressure divided by total pressure into mole fraction then this ya and this yb together these equations needs to be substituted in the definition of alpha ab so alpha ab when we substitute that here ya is equal to pab by pt into xa and xb is already left and here instead of yb we have to substitute this yb is equal to pbv divided by pt into xb then we can obtain alpha ab is equal to pab divided by pbv so this is valid uh, this um, relative volatility is valid only definition of pav divided by pbv is valid only for the ideal solutions okay for the non ideal solutions the basic definitions this we can use so all that all the mole fractions everything we want okay for the non ideal solutions whereas for the ideal solution it is more than enough uh, show, uh, we can have only part vapor pressures we can have to calculate alpha ab so for the ideal solution this formula is applicable so now uh, i hope you understood what is ideal solutions then uh, from the definition of ideal solution ideal solution is nothing but which obeys the rounds law similarly you might have seen in the uh, ideal gas so ideal gas is nothing but uh, which obeys ideal gas law similarly ideal solution is nothing but which obeys rounds law here rounds law will form a basis for the ideal solution whereas ideal gas law forms the basis for the ideal gases so here this is for ideal solution so for the ideal solution especially for the ideal solutions relative volatility is equal to vapor pressure of more volatile component divided by to, um, vapor pressure of less volatile or non volatile component so when you draw the curve <coughs> pxy diagram pxy diagram for the ideal solution the following phenomena will be obtained so this is pxy diagram okay when you draw pb versus pb versus x pb means Uh, partial pressure of less volatile component or a low volatile component versus x okay then uh, it will be a straight line okay straight line then similarly for the uh, partial pressure of more volatile component versus composition its composition then we can also obtain uh, 
straight line then total pressure is nothing but sum of the partial pressures from the dalton's law what we have uh, what we know that from the dalton's law it is nothing but sum of the partial pressures is equal to total pressure so if you draw the pxy diagram pxy diagram for ideal solution pxy diagram for ideal solution so if you consider this as axis so here x axis is x and y the uh, mole fraction of a more volatile component in the liquid phase and mole fraction of more volatile component in the vapor phase then in the y axis we can just plot the pressures so when you plot uh, this one pt total pressure uh, not total pressure partial pressure of component b versus x so partial pressure of component b versus x since if you see partial pressure of b so in that graph it is given as pb bar okay we are denoting our partial pressures only using pb okay in some textbooks it will be given as bar for the partial pressures okay you might uh, you have to note down the difference so pb is equal to from the raoult's law we already know that partial uh, vapor pressure into mole fraction of b so when we plot this one what will happen just um, this pb uh, b vapor pressure uh, partial pressure versus mole fraction x we, we will obtain a straight line then similarly for the more volatile component also it will be a straight line so this will be pa partial pressure of more volatile component versus x then pt from the dalton's law we already know from the dalton's law dalton's law is nothing but which gives a total pressure definition total pressure is equal to sum of the partial pressures pa plus pb since we are having only binary component system we are taking only two components if you have a, uh, a system more than two components then we can add pc plus pd okay we can add like that dalton's law says that whatever the total pressure is there it is from the all uh, pressure uh, pressure exerted by all the components so since we are assuming only binary components are there total pressure is equal to partial pressure of component a plus partial pressure of component b so this is the dalton's law so from this dalton's law when you plot this uh, x versus y so we can obtain this if you see so total pressure versus x plot so total pressure versus x plot since raoult's law is applicable for the uh, ideal solutions so raoult's law is applicable for the ideal solution so this is the ideal ideal law so uh, another assumption for the raoult's law is when the mole fraction of some one component more volatile component is towards 1 towards 1 x is equal to towards 1 xa is equal to towards 1 then only the raoult's law will applicable when x is less than 1 less than 1 and towards 0 then henry's law is applicable so since if you see here pt versus x will be this one straight line okay pt versus x will be this one straight line since from the uh, definition of raoult's law we already know right we already know raoult's law raoult's law is applicable for ideal solutions ideal solution or raoult's law we can call as a ideal ideal law so in other case ideality what does that means the ideality means ideality means mole fraction of any component is towards 1 okay uh, i am writing dn equal to 1 then raoult's law we can apply raoult's law we can apply if mole fraction of one component in the liquid phase is nearly or towards zero okay towards zero then we can apply henry's law by the definitions itself we already covered in the henry's law and uh, raoult's law topics okay earlier in the earlier classes so uh, mole fractions are nearly equal to one towards one we can apply the raoult's law so partial pressure from the dalton's law is this one when we plot the partial pressure of uh, partial uh, total pressure 
versus more fraction of more volatile component in the liquid phase. We will obtain this one. So this is PT versus X. Just simply X or we can say XA we can say. Here also XA we can say, XA we can say, here also XA, YA we can say. Since we are having only two components, we are taking X and Y. Okay, simply it is nothing but X. XA is also equal to X or YA is also equal to X. Since we are, uh, so XA is also equal to X, YA is also equal to Y. Okay, since we are having only two components, we are denoting whatever the XA components as X, so that here if you see, XB is equal to 1 minus X. So YB is equal to 1 minus Y. So X is nothing but XA, Y is nothing but YA. So the, uh, in various textbooks, the notation scheme will be different. You can you might notice this one. So PT versus XA when you draw, we can also obtain a strike line. Okay, since Raoult's law is not for the, uh, uh, not stating anything about ideality in the vapor phase, so it will be obtained like this. So PT versus YA, this one, or simply we can say PT versus Y. So this, uh, this is the ideal solution graph, a typical graph of the ideal solution. You don't have to solve any problem regarding this one. If you solve any problem, then you can get this one. So we'll try to solve uh, one problem regarding this one uh, in the next classes. So this is the ideal, ideal solution graph. Then the next one is deviation from ideality and formation of azeotropes. So we already know what is ideal solution. So here if you see ideal solution, for the ideal solution, partial pressure of component A is equal to mole, fra um, mole fraction in the liquid phase of, of that component in liquid phase into vapor pressure. So for the component B, similarly for the component B, partial pressure is equal to vapor pressure into mole fraction in, in the liquid phase. Then total pressure from the Dalton's law is sum of the partial pressure, these two partial pressures. And then delta H mixture, change in enthalpy of the mixture, overall mixture of ideal solution is equal to zero. Or, um, say, sorry, this one is delta volume of the mixture is also equal to zero. Okay, yeah. Here, if you see for the ideal solution, first we already defined what is ideal solution. Ideal solution is nothing but which uh, which obeys the Raoult's law. Raoult's law, what it is saying, Raoult's law is partial pressure is equal to vapor pressure into mode fraction. So similarly, for the both components, we are writing the partial pressure. If any solution obeys these two, then they has to obey this sum of the partial pressure. Dalton's law, sum, uh, total pressure is equal to sum of the partial pressure. Then any solution which is considered as ideal solution, so that solution has to obey all these laws, all these formulas it has to obey. So change in enthalpy of a mixture of that particular ideal solution is equal to zero and change in volume. Okay, yeah, for the ideal solutions, uh, if you see all the ideal solutions has to obey all these five formulas. Okay, then what is, uh, we already know, see ideal gases or ideal solutions is nothing but a hypothetical gases and hypothetical solutions. Just to framing a reference, we just formulated whatever the ideal solutions or ideal gases. We do know that uh, ideal non-ideal solutions exist and non-ideal gases can also uh, gases exist. Every real gas is non-ideal gas. Every real solution is a non-ideal solution. So ideal gas law or ideal uh, solution law or a Raoult's law is just a basis to calculate how the real solutions or how the real gases are deviating from the uh, ideal set laws, ideal gas laws or ideal solution law. Since this is ideal solutions law for the uh, for the uh, for any solution which is considered to be ideal solution. Uh, therefore, that solution needs to be um, obey all these five formulas. When the real solutions are considered, real solution behavior can be observed in two ways. One is a negative deviation and other one is a positive deviation. How, how this, uh, these two deviations will occur? Let's see this one. So partial pressure for the ideal solution is equal to vapor pressure into mole fraction in the liquid phase. So here if you see the negative deviation, 
so this uh, product of vapor pressure into mole fraction is always less than the partial pressure of that component then that is said to be a negative deviation from the ideal uh, from the ideal solution so negative deviation from the ideal solution or we can call negative deviation from the raoult's law we can call this one so similarly for the component b here for the ideal solution so partial pressure of component b is equal to product of vapor pressure into mole fraction whereas for the negative deviation it is less than the product of vapor pressure into mole fraction is always less than the partial pressure similarly for the next formula which is total pressure is equal to sum of the partial pressure for the ideal solution whereas for the negative deviation it is the so sum of the partial pressures is always less than the total pressure so here also uh, change in enthalpy of a mixture is equal to zero in the ideal solution whereas it is less than zero in the uh, negative deviation from ideality the solution which behaves negative deviation from the ideality or solution which behaves negative deviation from the raoult's law then uh, change in volume of a particular mixture is also zero in the ideal solution whereas the solution which obey uh, which deviates from the ideality the change in volume is less than zero so similarly for the positive deviation from ideality what does that means the positive deviation so always whatever the partial pressures are there it will be greater than this uh, greater than the uh, product of vapor pressure into mole fraction so here if you see in the negative deviation all the um, rhs sides are less than the LHS side, uh, LHS side uh, variables. Whereas here, if you see in the positive deviation, all the LHS side uh, variables are greater than the RHS side variables in the ideal ideal solutions. So you can just differentiate this one. So this means the solution, the non-ideal solutions, or we can consider the real solutions will behave in the two types. One is a negative deviation, and other one is a positive deviation. In order to uh, put a reference in between these two we have framed the ideal uh, solution law which is a raoult's law so i hope you understood this one so ideal solution law is nothing but a raoult's law and whatever the solution which deviates this raoult's law is called a non ideal solution then the, the solution which doesn't obey the raoult's law is called a non ideal solution so non ideal solutions are of two types their behavior is all of two types one is the negative deviation type and other one is a positive deviation type so all the positive deviation types will uh, will have a greater values of uh, um, uh, lhs terms compared to the rhs terms and all the uh, all the lhs terms will be of a lesser value compared to the rhs term in the negative deviation so this is the definitions of non ideal and ideal solutions and what are the formulas applicable and how it deviates whether it deviates positively or whether it deviates negatively so what is the positive deviation from ideality if you see in the p versus xy graph so positive deviation from ideality let's so then uh, we already now we defined the ideal solution so next one is positive deviation from ideality or we can say positive deviation from raoult's law we can also say since the uh, ideal law is ideal solution law is raoult's law so when you um, if you see this is partial pressure of more uh, partial pressure of uh, more volatile component is greater than since this is a positive so it will be greater than the product of vapor pressure into mole fraction so this is xp and similarly pb it is greater than pbv into mole fraction then similarly then total pressure is equal to uh, total pressure will also be greater than sum of the partial pressure pa plus pb since positive is there we are writing the greater than value here so you have to remember this one then negative deviation so negative deviation from ideality so negative deviation from ideality means partial pressure of a component a is less than the 
vapor pressure into mole fraction since this is a negative so we are writing lesser uh, uh, lesser than symbol so pb is less than pa uh, pbv into xb so sorry this is xa xa then sum of the uh, partial pressures which is always less than total pressure so pt is less than total pressure so you have to uh, differentiate this one so negative means less than symbol will come positive means greater than symbol will come when you plot these equations p in the pxy diagram so pxy diagram meaning p is in y axis and this is xy diagram xy also means or we can call this is xa and ya xa ya then if you see so we know that this uh, if you see so straight line when you plot the for the ideal solutions pa partial pressure of a versus mole fraction of a so when you plot this one in this ideal solution we have seen just now so pa versus xa will be a straight line so this is ideal okay similarly for component b so this is partial pressure of b versus mole fraction uh, you can say mole fractions okay mole fraction when you draw this one this is also ideal so now we are seeing to the positive deviation positive deviation means when you plot for the real solution it will obtain with a greater value compared to the ideal uh, ideal solution so it will obtain like this above the ideal solution curve it will obtain so this is pa versus xa uh since this is ideal solution we can consider p a star so since this is ideal so we are considering we are, i am just putting star on the above one so if you see this one pb versus x so this will come since this is a positive deviation above the line above the straight line it will come the curve will come above the straight line so this is pb versus x similarly in the case of total pressure so it will come above the curve it is not a straight line so this is pt versus x or xc so then it will for the component b uh, not for the component b total pressure versus mole fraction in vapor phase you can obtain like this one so these are all hypothetical curves we have just formulated how it uh, how it will looks like so for the ideal solution this curve is for ideal solution and whenever the uh, solution which have a positive deviation uh, plotted then this type of curve will be up, uh, cur curve we can see which is above this straight line above this straight line of uh, ideal solution similarly if you see this one for the negative deviation so for the negative deviation same things if you see Uh, pressures x comma y so if you see this one this is for ideal so this is for ideal pb versus this is pb versus x this is pa versus x then for the negative deviation if you see this is less than symbol is there so it will obtain below the ideality it will behave less than behavior than compared to the ideality so this curve will obtain like this so this is pb versus x so this is ideal we can write here star this is also ideal we can write here star so this is also negative deviation so below the ideality it will come this curve will come like this one so in the total pressure also same thing the curve will come like this together it will deviate like this somewhat so pt versus x and pt versus why this 
so like this the curves possible are like this so you have to remember what is negative deviation negative deviation means it will deviate negatively compared to the ideal gas law positive deviation means the whatever the variables which are there it will be a greater than compared to the ideality so that is called that is the difference between positive deviation and negative deviation from idlc so the pxy diagram so pxy diagram can be drawn only at constant tem uh, constant temperature so this is the diagram overall for the positive deviation so examples of this positive deviation what types of solutions will behave like a positive deviation from ideality so first example is acetone and carbon disulfide will behave these two uh, component the in the solution form will behave as a positive deviation positively deviating solutions and the second example is the acetone and benzene so whenever acetone or, and benzene are present in a solution form they also behave as a uh, positively deviating uh, components or positively deviating solution and next one is carbon tetrachloride and toluene or carbon tetrachloride and chloroform okay when these type of solutions are there so they also behave uh, positively compared to the ideality so this is about positive deviation from ideality and next one is negative uh, okay negative deviation we will come uh, okay in the next slide we have covered okay no problem then whatever the components which are forming which are considered as a positive deviation from ideality so this behavior they are exhibiting so some solutions will form a azeotrope okay now what is azeotrope azeotrope is nothing but which can form a single uh, okay then uh, whatever the components which are behaving as a positive deviation from ideality which will form a azeotrope so azeotrope is nothing but uh, the solution or solution which forms single or constant boiling composition constant boiling composition so what does that means constant boiling composition so x value is equal to y value so you know that uh, for the straight line equation y is equal to mx okay when the slope between this is m is nothing but slope it generally in the mathematical sense i am talking so y is equal to mx this is the straight line equation then in the straight line equation whatever this m is there it is slope when the slope between the two points is constant or zero we can say uh, not zero one okay constant then what happens y is equal to x will happen so it will be a straight line it does not uh, when some slope is there some value of slope is there then that will be a curve it will act like a curve then only we can evaluate this uh, slopes so that slope when the slope is constant or value is one so it will be a straight line so m is equal to one similarly in the case y means mole fraction of more volatile component in the vapor phase and this is mole fraction of more volatile component in the liquid phase so this two components will be same in the vapor phase as well as uh, liquid phase so if you see if this is a distillation column so d in the distillation column a plus b will be there so in the a plus b our primary task is to separate the more volatile component a but what will happen in the non ideal solutions which are behaving like a positive deviation which are deviating positively from the ideal law what will happen this a plus b will form a mixture okay this will be in a mixture form when we are just heating this mixture so here also when we are heating what happens a will be separated out when in the azeotrope case when we are heating what will happen this a plus b will also come here so whatever the composition by a, uh, a plus b in the vapor phase which is y so whatever the composition here in the liquid will both be equal here if you see the um, the mole fraction of a more volatile component that is xa and this is mole fraction of a more volatile component in the vapor phase so xa is not equal to ya so here in the azeotrope case xa 
is equal to y a but formation of this type of mixtures will not be helpful in separation of uh, in separation of those components using distillation so azeotropes we uh, cannot be formed azeotropes um, we don't want azeotropes to be formed if azeotropes are formed regardless of how much energy we are giving to that particular system that solution will not be separated so azeotropes are not at all required for example ethanol ethanol and water will form a azeotrope so separation of this mixture will be very difficult in the normal distillation we have to go for the azeotropic distillation or some extractive distillation or vacuum distillation something we have to go in order to alter the equilibrium between the vapor and liquid phase so uh, the ideal case if you see methanol and water they doesn't form any uh, uh, azeotrope okay methanol and water water separation is very uh, easy in the simple distillation column whereas in the simple distillation column ethanol and water separation is very very hard we can't separate them because azeotrope will form in between ethanol and water so uh, that is the behavior of um, azeotropes azeotropes is nothing but a single or constant boiling composition mixture is called a azeotrope which can't be separated by a simple distillation is called a azeotrope whenever the components which are deviating from the ideal law, uh, ideal ideal rounds law positively they they have a tendency to form a minimum boiling azeotrope so now why do we call this as a minimum boiling azeotrope we have to know this one so for example if you see this case here uh, positive deviating solutions are nothing but acetone and carbon disulfide acetone and benzene carbon tetrachloride and toluene or carbon tetrachloride and chloroform so out of this components when you take this example of first component acetone and carbon disulfide so that solution will behave like this so that solution is forming a positive deviation from ideality so here if you see this one is ideal so p a versus p c2 okay carbon uh, disulfide versus x mole uh, mole fraction of a cs2 so when you plot this one for the ideal it will obtain a straight line similarly for the acetone we will plot p b versus if you consider a as a cs2 and b as a acetone so this type of behavior you can observe so this is for ideal so since this components cs2 and acetone are deviating positively from the ideality so or above this straight line so curves will be above this straight line so when you plot the pxy uh, pt versus x diagram you can obtain this binodal curve a, a sharp point a sharp uh, what is a maxima you can obtain here so here the uh, solution will form a constant boiling azeotrope here at this composition the solution cannot be separated so we have to break break this azeotrope then only that particular composition will be separated so this forms a uh, maximum uh, maxima at one composition so cs2 and Uh, acetone will consider as a positive deviation behavior from the ideality at the same time they will form a minimum boiling azeotrope okay every solution okay every solution not acetone and benzene uh, benzene need not form a azeotrope okay carbon tetrachloride and toluene need not form a uh, azeotrope only some of the solutions which are having a positive deviation can form the azeotrope okay every solutions which are positively deviating cannot form a azeotrope okay um, you have to remember this one every solution which are positively deviating from ideality cannot form a azeotrope okay when some so, some of the solution is forming a uh, azeotrope that will be a minimum boiling azeotrope here if you see this is a maxima which are forming when you plot this x versus y so this x and y when you plot this this is called a equilibrium curve okay x and y when we are plotting that is called a equilibrium curve then the txy diagram of this solution will be looks like this one so this is a pxy diagram so this is pxy diagram when you see the txy diagram just the reverse of this curve you, you will obtain because here pr pressure is kept constant here the temperature is kept constant so just this uh, the reverse of this curve will be this one so it will boiling uh, it will be boiled at a minimum temperature if you see here the boiling point of this uh, solution the cs2 and the acetone solution will be here the minima will be formed in the txy diagram whereas in the pxy diagram the maxima will form so this type of behavior the solution which exhibits this type of behavior is called a minimum boiling azeotrope 
okay together it also remains in a positive deviation from ideal t the solution uh, the example for this type of solution is carbon disulfide and acetone so next one we have we already seen the negative deviation from ideality okay i already drawn this one negative deviation means whatever the ideal straight lines are there the curve of that uh, solution will come below this uh, straight line so below the straight lines only it will come so if you see this is uh, for ideality so below this ideality only this will come so that type of solutions uh, is known to exhibit the negative deviation from the ideality so for the negative deviation from the ideality all the lesser than values we are using so the example for this type of solutions are chloroform and acetone will form a uh, negative deviation from ideality and nitric acid and water will also be a negative deviation from ideality okay some of these solution will form a uh, whenever they are uh, considered as a negative deviating from ideality some of the solution might form a maximum boiling azeotrope now what does that means a maximum boiling azeotrope here if you see the minimum boiling azeotrope is the txy diagram it will form a minima because of this minima point only this is we are calling this as a minimum boiling azeotrope in the maximum boiling azeotrope the solution which behaves a negative deviation from ideality will have a tendency to form a uh, maximum boiling azeotrope now what does that means maximum boiling azeotrope if you see the pxy diagram for this uh, uh, maximum boiling azeotrope the pxy diagram it will form a minima whereas in the txy diagram it will form a maxima here so it will form a maxima here in the uh, at certain composition so example of the first example is this one chloroform and acetone so they will form a maximum azeotrope maximum boiling azeotrope so why we do we call a maximum boiling azeotrope because in the txy diagram the composition the txy nodal point will be at a maxima whereas in the minimum boiling azeotrope the txy diagram the mag, uh, the minima it will form so this nodal point l will be a minima here so this is called a minimum boiling azeotrope and here it will form a maxima in the txy diagram so this l point is called a uh, azeotropic composition so this is a maximum boiling azeotrope because it forms a maxima in the txy diagram whereas it is called a uh, minimum boiling azeotrope because it forms a minima at the uh, in the txy diagram so l point is a, uh, a defining point for the minimum boiling whether they are, they are forming a minimum boiling azeotrope or whether they are forming a maximum boiling azeotrope so these are the azeotropes so this is regarding the solutions if you have any doubts you can ask me just to go through the notes you can uh, i i think you can have many doubts regarding this one negative deviation positive deviation ideality what is that one okay do you have any doubts anybody can you please respond pavani sir after referring if you have doubts you will ask okay yeah please follow that preview a uh, lesson and review okay then it will be not a problem because when you preview then only you come to know mass transfer passing the mass transfer is not a small thing mass transfer it is club of all the subjects mathematics heat transfer mechanical operations everything will be uh, in a complex form is known as a mass transfer operation so before coming to class just preview that one in the next class okay if you have any doubts you can ask me in the next class uh, i would like to cover at least uh, one of the topics among this one so types of distillation so different types of distillations are there one is a simple distillation or it, we can call this as a differential distillation or furthermore we can call it as a rallies distillation we will call because rallies one of the other who has given a derivation for this uh, simple distillation so simple distillation or differential distillation or a rallies distillation we can call and the next one is a flash or equilibrium distillation okay this is a single stage operation we can call so flash or equilibrium or a single stage operation the three names are same then fractional distillation this is nothing but a continuous distillation then steam distillation whatever the when uh, uh, there is a chance of uh, degrading of components present in the distillation uh, present in the separation so we will use the steam distillation 
when some azeotropes are forming in the distillation we we have to use some uh, third component known as the entrainer okay that is called azeotropic distillation then extract distillation some solvent we will add a so third solvent will be added in order to separate the, uh, the one of the components which are having a close boiling points then the vacuum distillation so vacuum distillations can also be used below the atmospheric pressure so out of this in the next class uh, i would like to just uh, Uh, revise this one this two okay uh, simple distillation or differential distillation or a flash or equilibrium distillation just have a look on this one so simple distillation setup will looks like this one so in the notebook already these are there you can go through this one before coming to the next class and the derivation of uh, rally's equation this is called so rally's equation derivation will be there and flash distillation or a single stage operation this was so this is the operating line equation so just before coming to the next class just verify this one just revise this one and come okay i hope you don't have any doubt if you have any doubt you can ask me then okay isaac isaac ravi Yes, sir. Uh, Ravi, uh, is it okay? Can you able to understand? Yes, sir. Yeah, just please revise and ask uh, if there are any confusion among our classmates. Then ask them. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you for listening. We will meet in the next class. The CT two.